My name is Justin Fricky, and I decided to do a birthday challenge for my 26th birthday. That entails climbing 26 boulder routes in one day. So a birthday challenge to me is a fun way for me to get outside, have a challenge for myself and get after it, and enjoy just being around my friends. So to do this, I decided to go to Waco Tank State Park and tackle 26 boulder routes. I've never been here before. I didn't have any specific routes in mind that I wanted to do. I've not really done much research about Waco. I've just seen Waco tanks like in pictures. So in America to grade how hard a boulder problem is, you use the V scale. It starts at V0 and it goes up to I think like V15. Right now it might be V16. I really don't know. I can't climb that hard. Um, so for me, I'm like a V4, V5 boulder at best. So I figured a really big challenge for me would be only boulder problems that had a v2 rating or higher right when i got out there i tackled a couple v0 boulder problems and decided to just completely do away with the whole v2 and up thing and said pretty much as long as i climb it anything goes and that's what's fun about the birthday challenge is the fact that it's my birthday challenge so i get to set the rules dropping some of the rules made it a little bit easier but by the same token it hurt my ego Going into the challenge, I thought I was gonna climb like at least 30 boulder routes, even though I only had to do 26. The whole time I thought I was gonna do V2, maybe throw down a couple V4s, maybe a V5, no big deal. And then I hit a brick wall. And then that went out the window, and I knew that in order for me to finish and get 26 boulder routes, I would have to be repeating some climbs because I could at least dial in the muscle memory and with the fatigue setting in throughout the day, that was gonna be pretty much the only way I would be able to actually get 26 climbs in. I believe that I made two crucial mistakes. I thought I was in better shape than what I am, and the other mistake I made was spending time on this V4 called Moonshine. Such a fun V4 boulder problem, but it really took a lot of my energy and it took a lot of time out of the day just trying to get that one boulder problem. So it came down to the last hour and a half and I needed like 12 or 13 boulder problems. And that's about the time whenever I really started coming into grips with that I probably wouldn't do it. I was so fatigued and I remember just telling Adam that I couldn't do it at all. You got it. No, I don't and he had a camera in my face and was like, yes, you can get up and do it. The last climb, there were a ton of emotions, a ton of thoughts going through my head. I was super tired and fatigued. How are we feeling? I think I can do it. But I was also so happy to be getting done with it and not having to climb anymore for the rest of the day. I'm so happy it's about to be over. <laughs> but that I actually also accomplished this goal and had so much fun doing it. As I pulled the lip on the top of the boulder and topped out, the sun was starting to set, it was golden hour, the entire desert over West Texas was just completely golden and it was absolutely beautiful. I'd do it again in a heartbeat. <laughs> I would definitely do another birthday challenge in a heartbeat. You should definitely do a birthday challenge knowing that it might be painful, but you should do it with your friends and family and whoever else you can rally up because the people around you are really what makes the birthday challenge so much fun.